Sonny, who met us in Houston, was one of a few dozen influencers invited to the White House to watch the State of the Union and meet President Biden. He said to us, the collective presence in this room has more viewership um, on Gen Z than all of traditional media combined. Now, Democratic organizations are flooding the creator community with cash and providing behind the scenes access. Come with me to meet the president of the United States. The Harris campaign does not pay influencers directly. CBS News found a constellation of other Democratic political organizations that do. In the first 100 days of a Republican presidency under Trump, Project 2025 talks about sacking thousands of civil servants. Last month, Sané says she was hired by Protect Our Care, a progressive advocacy group that relies on anonymous donors. She made a video warning about Trump's second term agenda. They almost help you script it, right? Right, like, definitely. She takes their talking points and puts them into her own voice, saying she always discloses when she's being paid. What's your rate? So a video just for a creator in my size and average can go from $3,000 to $10,000 depending and upwards. This is a bid by campaigns to create authenticity at a small scale. University of Pittsburgh's Sam Woolley studies political influencers. How can you tell what is a genuine grassroots expression of political opinion versus what's being paid for? If you see multiple influencers spreading the same exact message, you can start to realize, hmm, some kind of coordination is going on. Next up for Sané, the Democratic National Convention. They just told us that if we wanted to put on our own show, that they would give us all the resources to do that. The Democrats are rolling out the red carpet. Definitely. And I'm, I'm glad to be on it. The beauty influence.